What's going on everybody? Jarmody back again with another gameplay. This time I'm not on Black Ops 2. I actually jumped back with a buddy of mine and played some Black Ops 1. Figured I'd give it a try again. It's been a while since I played it so didn't expect to do very well. But the first match out I went 14-6 and 6 on firing range. And I don't know if it helps the fact that they added basically firing range to Black Ops 2. And I've been playing it a little bit here lately but... I jumped in and I'll tell you right now before you start watching this match it is a very slow play match for me you know I I do go pretty decent I think I get a care package or something maybe some Valkyrie rockets but you know it's not a really really impressive gameplay it's just something I wanted to use to kind of explain where I've been and what's been going on this week I guess I'll start with my wife wrecking her car uh, I think it was last Thursday or actually not last Thursday it was a week from Thursday uh, she was leaving here headed to work and I live on a really really narrow single road or basically single car wide road that makes it almost impossible for anybody to pass and we drive SUVs and large trucks just for the fact that when it snows we have to be able to get out of here so taking all that into effect when you come around a curve it's a, basically a 90 degree curve it's hard to see people on the other side especially this time of the year when you know the grass is growing the leaves are up people aren't taking care of their properties and out here in the country you tend to get a lot of that you know they i guess people feel like the roadside's not their problem so they don't do anything with it but uh, that wasn't actually the case this time it was just one of those deals where it was wet and raining and nobody could get out of the way <clears throat> and it happens you know shit happens just the way it works but beyond that, following those events, my grandfather fell and broke his hip. Now, a lot of people have told me, just from experience and working with a lot of older, older gentlemen, that typically they don't fall and break their hip. They break their hip, and then they fall. You know, that's neither here nor there. But we knew as soon as he did that, he was in pretty bad condition. Now, he had already started off with lung cancer and uh, some other things and you know my mom may, be get, may get mad at me for putting all this out here but hey it's my business as much as it is hers so I'm just going to put it out there and just kind of let you guys know what I'm going through so basically what it boils down to we kind of knew something was going on you know we kind of knew that something was going to come fairly quickly we lost my grandmother a few years back from uh Basically, what started as ovarian cancer wound up uh, going through some chemo treatments and through that process had some blood clotting and wound up getting a stroke, which basically made her unable to speak the last portion of her life. You know, I hope I'm not uh, singing a sappy story here. I just kind of want to let you guys know why I've been away uh, for longer than normal. You know, I started getting a whole lot of, a whole lot of steam here the last few uh, days picking up subscribers, picking up followers on Twitter. You know, I really appreciate that from you guys. And I uh, hope to see some more keep on coming. You know, I'm not pushing really, really hard to build this. I'm just kind of letting it happen on its own. So I really appreciate all of you that uh, that are here to support me and that do help me regardless of whether you even know me or whether you just are starting out yourself and trying to build a community relationship. You know, I'm all about that as long as you're not trying to use me you know I've had a few of those incidents but I don't want to get into that topic right now I kind of want to stick to you know talking about my grandfather and uh, you know he was a great he was a great person he was a structural engineer he had a lot of intelligence he passed a lot of that intelligence along to me I believe he was in his uh, mid 80s you know excuse me for not knowing his exact age but I'm not big on keeping track of stuff like that you know I figure age is just a number we all live we all die it's just the way it goes you know I'm I'm very heartbroken to have lost my grandfather the grandfather and grandmother that I actually cared for you know everybody has a set a two the other set of mine you know not to be mean but I don't have a relationship with them so it probably will not affect me if at all you know but we'll see they're still fairly young and they're still in fairly decent condition so we'll just kind of 
ride that one out, and I'll keep y'all filled in on how that goes. But anyway, aside from all that, you know, I just been trying to get everything together this this week keep my mom strong you know we've been working you know even prior to my grandfather passing you know getting everything in order kind of getting his house cleaned up and uh, try to get it on the market and get it sold so they can get that burden out from underneath of them so we'll probably be doing a whole lot of that but I plan on bringing all the videos uh, more regularly especially since I picked up a little bit of steam and hopefully you all will enjoy that so Hope you enjoyed this commentary. Make sure you hit that like button down there and please subscribe. We'll see y'all on the next one.